Let's have a chat about both of these bum bags. The first thing that I want to say is I really, I, I, I'm going to be really honest. I really dislike when luxury YouTubers start to unbox coach. I hate to I, like admit that, but I, I, I will be going into like my relationship with coach and one of the reasons why I haven't purchased anything from coach in two decades. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. Let's get started. First and foremost, I have to give credit to Yota Style. I saw a picture. She posted a photo to her Instagram and I was like, literally eyes bugged out of my face she had a beautiful tote again i'll post it over here or i'll post a picture of the tote and i was like gaga over it i just thought it was beautiful and it really reminded me of the stephen sprouse and louis vuitton collaboration there was something very i i, I was very drawn to it like i was drawn to the stephen sprouse um, Louis Vuitton collection. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know anything about it. I just knew that I was like, God, that's gorgeous. <laughs> so shortly after I did discover that it was the Coach and Basquiat collection. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you all, all of this stuff about Basquiat. I'm actually not very familiar with the artist. I don't study art. I never have. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't have an appreciation for it. And sometimes pieces just speak to you and you don't know why. And that was kind of what I felt when I saw the Basquiat collection. I, well, I saw Yota's bag and then I went to check out the Basquiat collection with Coach and I was so enamored. I was so enamored with these pieces and I, I know I have a thing with graffiti art. I grew up in Los Angeles so graffiti has been part of the culture here in Los Angeles and I think it just has entered my subconscious and I just love like whenever there is an artist that does graffiti i'm always drawn to it and i felt that very much about the basquiat collection I, and i do want to say this i totally understand the disdain that there is with putting art on handbags i genuinely understand it but i do think that people also have to understand that there's a lot of us that will never actually own a like a real basquiat piece or a van gogh piece and there are a lot of people who have an appreciation for art and sometimes these collaborations are the only way that some of us would ever be able to have a piece of the artwork and so for that i think that people have to be a little bit more understanding and flexible because if you appreciate the artist you should appreciate everything that it encompasses and celebrate it now that's all that i wanted to say with regards to that now with regards to coach i have not purchased coached for two decades which is what i mentioned before not because i don't like coach not because i think that coach is not a luxury brand not because i have anything against the brand if anything the way that american fashion is often discounted really bothers me like really bothers me and we could have a whole conversation about that i actually really do love coach coach is probably one of the first brands that i purchased however because i started to buy pieces that were are at a higher price point i have this thing like psychologically that happens to me and if i use a bag or if i have something that cost a certain amount of money let's say three hundred dollars and i have something that cost you know a thousand dollars or more i feel ill going out in this piece and not getting enough wear out of the thing that cost more money it makes me ill like i just i don't feel good about it i feel like i'm being very wasteful and so i have told myself to not buy into these brands i used to buy Michael Kors all the time. I used to buy Tory Burch all the time. I used to buy Coach and I had to put a stop to it because one, I can't have everything and these purchases are not inexpensive. They do take big chunks of money out of something else that I want more. 
So that is the reason why I haven't purchased Coach in such a long time. But I could not not buy into this collection i just couldn't i was i had an absolute reaction to it and truth be told i still want additional items from the collection i am obsessed with this collection i absolutely love it but the first thing that i gravitated towards the moment that i saw that it was available was this over here I ordered it online. I could not wait for it to get here. They have so many amazing bags, but I really felt that with the artist's work, this was the piece that made the most sense that went with his art. Do not get me wrong. I love the contradiction of his artistry, like on a lady bag. I think that that's amazing. But for me, I just wanted this because I wanted, <laughs> I wanted something with this on it um there was a white one and i am so upset that i missed out on it i would 100 percent buy it if it pops up again on the website i am crazy about this style it is so good i am like floored with this piece i love the that it's all black i love that it just has some you know color splashed on it i just think it is the coolest bag ever. I cannot wait to be a little old lady just like with my Louis Vuitton bum bag and rock this bag then and now. Okay so with all of that out of the way this is how these bags compare side by side. I think this one might look a little bit bigger. This Louis Vuitton one is I guess chubbier. This one is more sleek and this one is wider but I do have all of my items in here. The zipper is an easier zipper on this one. There is no flap on it, but it suits this bag beautifully. The zipper looks really industrial. It's like a really nice big zipper. It's really, really nice. The buckles on them. This is adjustable. This is adjustable on this side. This is, I, this is as, um i have it at its widest setting this one at its widest setting so this one gives you more room and this one gives you not as much this is probably the only thing that i don't like about it so the louis vuitton bag has these metal squares that make the bag kind of sit like perfectly whether you have it up here or whether you put it down here there is no like funky folds that happen because of the ring and probably because this is the the width of this isn't like terribly wide this this is attached directly to the bag and so when you put it on this weird fold happens here not sure if you can see yeah so it in order for you to get that to kind of sit better it's better to have it down here where that doesn't happen as much honestly it doesn't it doesn't do it that much it really i don't i don't know it's not doing it right now but a ring would have been useful if it was like in black that would be like amazing i do wish that it had a little bit more give like the louis vuitton one um but it still fits me fine i i really like how it fits i think it's gorgeous they both have a back pocket this one looks like it's wider it's pretty big on this one is smaller i would say but i would say that they're they're about the same they're not that different the major difference would be the big pocket in the front this also has this coach and basquiat tag now these are from the outlet store i don't believe that they made them for the coach boutiques i did go to the outlet store and i have to say coach had really good customer service but um something that happened to me was so i was so enamored with this bag that i wanted to see it even though i had already ordered it i wanted to see it and I was hoping that they had the white one in the boutique and they didn't and 
the people at Coach were really, really lovely. They usually are. I've been there a couple of times um, over the last few years. I never buy anything, but I always go and look. Um, and the manager actually told me, we have boutique pieces if you're interested. But she was talking about the boutique pieces of the Basquiat. They had a few totes. I'm gonna post a picture over here because I did try several pieces on, um, but they did have one from the boutiques that, you know, Saks got and the Coach non-outlet stores got, and they had a few of them. And I was very tempted. It was at an insane, insanely good price i still had not received this one and i really actually liked the dinosaur tote it was in a taupe color it was so gorgeous but it did have markings on the leather um the sales associate said that they were kind of stacked on top of each other and so it had markings in the front and it had markings in the back again i, I want i i'm pretty sure i took pictures so i will go ahead and post them but i just uh, it, it's very hard for me not to buy that piece truth be told i think that the piece that i really want or the pieces that i want are actually non um handbags so i may be adding some of that if they're still available or maybe if they go on further markdown i did purchase one other thing i really loved the pieces in the white pebbled leather this was something that i genuinely loved here i go again with the slgs you guys i couldn't help myself with this one i kept thinking gosh this would look so cute mm -hmm. when i wear like my um my clear bags i know those are 30 dollars, and i just talked about not wearing bags that are less expensive but i could stomach paying you know 20 and 30 dollars for bags but 300 anything 200 and over th those are like i don't know i just always feel like they're taking money away from other pieces that are on my wish list that do cost more and so these pieces do add up you guys and that's why i don't buy it but anyways i could not resist this piece i just thought it was so cute and i thought this is so cool and i don't know it just seems like a very very functional piece and i just i love it i i, I really love it i think it's so like it, it there it's the coolest thing ever and i i'm just like floored with this um collection i i'm really i'm floored with it and i'm obsessed with it i genuinely love it okay so i did just want to quickly go from my louis vuitton bum bag to the coach basket so i am going to put everything i have in there into here i have my chanel o pouch that's stuffed you guys i have my hermes bastia I have gum, my Chanel key case, and I want to say that's all I have in there. And then in the back pocket, I have a card case, and my phone goes in there. I'm actually filming on the phone that I'm going to use. But just to demonstrate, I am actually going to move the gum to this part over here. And I could actually put my card case in this pocket over here as well. So that is everything zipped up and they both fit the same amount. I would say that that one fits a little more just because it is um, on the chubbier side. But so far I did get everything that I had in here and here. 
I do think that these are totally worth buying and they're still available online. They're not available in, at least not in my boutique, but they are available online. One of the reasons why I also bought it was because this is something that my husband and I are going to share. Uh, he does not like this, which I cannot believe. I genuinely, I cannot believe he doesn't like it. But, you know, I do not mind using either one. So when he's in one, I will totally be in the other. And that way one doesn't get too much wear also. I just love this piece. I think it's so good. And I know that, you know, bum bags are not for everybody, but if you've ever considered one and you don't want to spend this much money for it buy this one it's so cool you guys and it is like a permanent cool piece um so i genuinely think if you have not looked at this collection if you have not considered this collection really really consider it they have such beautiful pieces purchasing this i've seen a lot of coach pieces that I'm like man those are good I've been tempted by coach many many times many times especially because Yota unboxes the best coach items you guys on it and I'm just like maybe that's why I don't like coach unboxings I, I don't want to see it I, I don't I don't want to see it I don't want to be tempted so stop it but yeah I'm really glad that she and I did I watched her she had a collaboration video with Autumn Beckman I also saw all of the pieces that she got I didn't even comment on Yoda's video because I literally left her her video to go and I actually purchased this right then and there and I was like I know I have to have this why is no one talking about this one I, I love it so yeah if you guys have been considering it or if you um didn't know that this was around definitely I will go ahead and link it down below it is such a great piece you guys it's so good it is amazing so that is it for today if you have any specific questions with regards to this that I did not mention or comparing the two let me know I hope I did include mod shots I'm pretty sure I did because I already filmed them I may refilm them but um, or I, I did already take pictures so I will add that and I will be adding them to my Instagram as well so yeah Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will chat with you guys later. Bye.